So what we're doing today is uh, we're kind of continuing the theme of aerospace process efficiencies. We're going to be infusing a carbon fiber preform that we made this morning on the, uh, on the tool to my left. Uh, so we're, we're using AeroVac processing materials. We've already got the preform in the mold. It just it dropped right in, perfect fit. Um, we're using some peel ply around the edge for a breather and uh, some flow mesh. And now what they're doing is, is sealing the bag. So just a, a reminder, our preform is a dry carbon fiber uh, with a heat set binder. It's eight plies of a quasi isotropic uh, fabric. So we have fibers in zero and plus or minus 60. Each ply is 540 grams per square meter. So we're getting about a, a part that's gonna be about a quarter inch thick. So as you can see on the screen there, uh, the guys, the blue material was the infu ply two because of the thickness of the laminate, the infu ply two is specifically designed to be able to aid and help in the resin flow. So it's a combination material with the A2400 release film with a P16 or perforated 16. And then the flow meteor, the mesh, is that blue layer that you see on top. Because of the, the thickness of the laminate, that helps the flow of the resin. And then the A100 white with red stripe peel ply will then slow that down and allow the resin to fully permeate the part whenever the guys are shooting the resin in. And then, of course, the guys are using the uh, Vaxil 2042 uh, tacky tape around the edge, sealant tape around the edge. The bag is about 25 to 30% larger than the mold, just so it can conform to all the, uh, the contours of the mold. We want to make sure there's no bridging of fibers or peel ply, flow media, or, or the bag. For infusion, there's a lot of different flow strategies you can use. Um, you can flow from one edge to the other. You can flow from the center out, which is kind of what we're doing today. But for very large parts, you can use a branch feed system. You can use multiple uh, feed lines. But in this case, for this size of part, uh, we're using one feed line in the center. I don't know if you can see it here. It's a spiral app tubing. We're gonna connect our feed line to it uh, with a, a nylon barbed T. And then we have a vacuum outlet as well over here on the edge. But this vacuum is actually connected and so we'll have vacuum around the perimeter of the part. Um, this is just our outlet. So as James said, the uh, material we're gonna infuse was actually assembled this morning in a preforming demo. And we're able to take advantage of some of the unique properties of Kiso. Since it's quasi-isotropic, there's no need to rotate the plies as we build the laminate stack, which gives us a, a nice, easy layup. Uh, since it's also braided, it has a, a high level of drapeability. So as we made this preform this morning, we were able to drape the material around this complex shape without a single cut in it. So those work together to uh, make a very fast laminate uh, preform. The other neat thing about braid is the bias fibers are gonna reach from the top of the fabric to the bottom of the fabric. That through thickness path creates you know, excellent permeability as well as air evacuation. We'll see here in a minute, you know, as Barry injects resin, you just how well this material actually flows. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah, now uh, Barry and Dan, they've sealed the bag. Um, all their pleats, Dan's just going around checking the pleats. What Barry's doing is adjusting the bag, making sure we don't have any bridging. We already have the vacuum pump turned on, so we're evacuating air uh, from the mold cavity. And uh, you can see the bag draw down. It's really going to compress that preform and all the process materials. So for this part right now, we're going to be using our Polytech CPD 4281A, 4284B, and Fusion Epoxy. What's nice about this epoxy is a low cost, low viscosity, medium setting, and clear epoxy system. Uh, very similar to the epoxy that we use for the forming of our tooling bore in the first demo. So it's also a low cost system as well. Um, this one in particular, the 4281A, 4284B, very general purpose, many diverse applications, laminating, casting, RTM, and infusion. This one in particular, um, it's a very user friendly, 
108 to 27 B mix ratio by volume. It's a low viscosity around 150 centipoids and a 40 minute gel time. What's also a benefit about it is that it infuses quickly and rapidly. So in a thin sections, it will be staged in about eight hours. So what you're able to do is release the vacuum pressure in a typical work shift. So we're about ready to mix the resin um, and uh, let it flow into the part. So we have the resin mixed now, and Barry's gonna open the feed line, and you'll see it flow. That spiral wrap tubing fills up almost immediately, and you can see it flow into the infu ply too. And that's a, as I mentioned, the permeability of the infu ply is very high, so you can see it flow really rapidly through there. But once it gets out to the edge, I'm not sure you can see it on the camera, but it really slows down as it, you know, it's kind of racing through this top layer here and saturating down through the thickness. <clears throat> you can see our resin has reached the edge of the infu ply too. It's starting to wet out this A100 peel ply and it's, you know, we're giving it time to saturate that, that carbon fiber preform. Thank you for attending.